Hi everyone, Elvira here. Wanted to let you know that the broth is done. So that's what it looks like. We're gonna strain it here. So I got a bowl and a strainer. And let me move this so you guys can watch how I do it. And we're just gonna get it off the stove. And we're just gonna pour it. Um, if I can set it this way. There we go. And we're just going to pour it in here. And we shake it like that. all you do and then what I usually do is I get a couple containers I think it's only gonna make maybe one container I don't think it makes more than one but we'll find out here real quick let me get the containers and the nice thing is it's you know it's healthy you know it's fresh because there's no preservatives in it. And, you know, then you can add your seasonings. I usually put it in the, how I do, is I usually put it in the um, freezer. So when I want it, after it cools though, don't do it before. And I just cool it, you know, whenever I need it, I pull out and I say, oh yeah, I'm gonna make some homemade vegetable soup. And that's what I do. And then how I do is I get a ladle. I find a ladle. been a long day and I'm trying to clean and get this trailer done and I'm slowly getting there and then I just go like this we might get two Look how pure that is, though. So that's about all you need for the one container. We are going to get two. How cool is that? Pure broth. I think what we'll do is we'll divide it up. Then we'll add a little more in the other container. Look at that, we got two containers. Wow. There's the one, see, like that. Like that. Voila. And then you just leave them cool and you got two containers of broth and there's no calories in it because you're not saving anything. And the nice thing is, it's healthy. And when you go to make that soup and put in the, the seasonings and stuff, you can't beat it because it's like, guess what? You've got a healthy broth, there's no, low sodium, and that was one thing I have an issue with is sodium. So that's why I started learning how to make my own broth and come up with healthy recipes because I was making chicken soup last year and I was using different seasonings and buling coops, but I would get like, and certain things would happen where my body would get a little bloated and it's like you know i'm not doing that and guess what 
right there is healthy broth you can't beat it because you're using the bones and the skin and you're utilizing every part of the chicken when you're eating the chicken you eat the meat and you save the bones that's what i did i saved the bones and it worked and it's in my cookbook i'm starting another cookbook so the first one i'm at the proofreaders and waiting for them to get it back because i have to make some changes you know it, it's with anything and you don't get it done the first time and say oh it's 100 percent right that's not how it works but i'm excited i'm really happy that a lot of people follow me um don't forget to hit the like and subscribe um you know i'm just a normal person i didn't go to culinary school but you don't have to be culinary school to eat healthy and cook healthy it's all about measuring your food cooking healthy and eating right and counting your calories if you do all that you can maintain and i maintained all summer and now i'm back to the point well guess what i have to get moving and cracking to get the rest of the 38 pounds off but i'm getting there and i'm very proud of myself because in two years i've kept it off I've, i eat healthy and that's what it's all about is staying healthy and being healthy and eating healthy god bless everyone and the angels are always there with you hit the like and subscribe button i'll see you tomorrow love everyone don't forget to hit the like and subscribe keep god and the angels in your life because they always keep us safe bye